Hello everyone, we are back and in today's installment, I'm going to give you a single most important tip for boosting guitar solos. Now we all know the most common way to boost a guitar solo is of course by increasing the volume. So in most cases, a boost pedal will be used, either transparent or lending some sort of color to the overall tone. Now doing it that way is certainly not wrong. The best situation to use a clean boost through an amp would be in the effects loop. But here's the thing about using a volume boost to make your guitar solos cut through the mix. Number one, if the amp does not have an effects loop, it means you'd have to run the boost through the front of an amp. Now if the amp easily breaks up, in other words, does not have a high headroom, it's going to break up the amp further instead of giving you a volume boost. Next, if you are the kind of player that tends to stack multiple old drive pedals to get one tone, using a volume boost into the front of an amp might bottom it out. By that, I mean the lower end of your guitar might be farting through the speakers, it might not be as tight, and this is where using a volume boost causes a problem. Now with most guitar setups today, most people are running their pedals all through the front of an amp. And what I personally feel is the most effective way to boost your solo, especially when you're stacking multiple drive pedals, and especially if you're going through a front of an amp, would be to use an EQ pedal instead. How would you want to set up the EQ pedal is really simple. All you gotta do is give it a frown. That way you'll be raising the mids, which is exactly where the guitar wants to be. And besides increasing the mids, what you can also do is slightly lower down the lower end and the higher end. So what that would do is it will make sure that the solos on the higher strings up high would not be ice picky or really bitey. And rolling back the low end just a tad will allow your low notes, especially when using the neck pickup, to still be really tight and clear instead of being muddy and farting out through the speakers. Also using a volume boost to cut through the mix when soloing is going to be highly dependent on the kind of tone that you dialed in for your rhythm playing. Now I set up a basic example. I'm going to compare two pedals using a clean volume boost which will be the MXR Custom Audio Electronics MC401 and then we're going to use the MXR 6 band EQ to try and cut through the mix instead. And I will be using three other pedals along with this. Number one, it will be the Ibanez Tube Screamer and the Friedman B OD and finally the Boss RV6 for a bit of delay and reverb. So the signal chain will be the guitar going into the Tube Screamer Mini, into the BOD, into first the Clean Boost, the MC401, and second the MXR6 Band EQ, finally going through the Boss RV6 and into the front of my orange Brent Hines Terror head. Now listening to this comparison on YouTube is going to be a very subtle difference, so headphones are recommended, but trust me this is one method that you will hear really clearly when playing live.
So there you go, that was the comparison when using a clean boost versus an equalizer. Now I urge everyone to try out this method live using an EQ instead, and trust me, it makes a world of difference instead of using a volume boost. Check out musicblitz.com.my for pricing info on items used here today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content, and see you real soon.